You know, it's kind of playing with them. And then one day I stumbled across a configuration on my hand with the rubber band that helped me optimize a shooting release. Now, all you got to do is this. So you're going to hold your hand straight out. You're going to grab the bottom of the rubber band like this, and then you're going to pull it out and loop it around whatever dominant finger you release with. So if you're an index finger shooter, you're going to put it on your index finger. If you're a middle finger shooter, you're going to put it on your middle finger. That's what I like to do. And if you're a split finger shooter, you're going to loop it over both fingers just like that. So basically the rubber band's going to come up your palm, loop around the back of your fingers. Now, this is where it's incredibly important. When you loop it around the back, you'll notice that you can lock your wrist and as you flex forward, the rubber band pulls it and snaps it down. One of the biggest mistakes and misconceptions that players make is they think on their follow through, they need to have all of their fingers down towards the ground, right? We've heard like the gooseneck follow through or the hand in the cookie jar. But what a lot of people don't realize is that actually makes for a ton of tension in your wrist. And so to really get truly